Hi there, I'm Jen Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio, and our tutorial today is about our marble foils. So we're gonna talk about these. I'm gonna show you guys how to seam them together and create some beautiful projects. So we're talking marble foils here, you guys. These are absolutely gorgeous. If you haven't seen some of our newest collection, this one is our Golden Dragon. And just wanna give you guys some basic information. All of these marble foils are actually coming on a 24 inch roll. This one is actually a 48 inch repeat. And so we have this one marked on the website as section A and B, and then there's an A1 and a B1 so that if you are working on a larger substrate and need to have the pattern repeat, you know which sections you'll have to purchase, okay? So we're gonna talk about the ones that we're selling on the 12 inch, okay? All of these truly do come on that 24 inch wide, okay? So we're cutting them down for 12 inches because a lot of people are using them on drawer fronts and doing smaller projects. So you're gonna have to work on creating the repeat to match the best you possibly can, okay? I'm actually gonna get this other section out here, okay? I like to unroll the foil, depending on how big my project is, and figure out where the repeat is, okay? So unroll it until you actually see the pattern repeat, okay, which I'm right here. So the repeat is about almost four feet on this particular foil. And I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this off because it's gonna be much easier to show you, okay? But how I have done this so far is to figure out the full repeat and then I'm just gonna pull this back so that you guys can see what I'm working on here. And unroll this other piece here. Okay, and then we're gonna be playing with matching up, okay? So the section I have here, these are identical, okay? They're the same exact repeat. So we can try and play with just lining them up the best we can from that angle, or we can flip them over, okay? And see about matching them up this direction. Okay, they'll not always be a perfect match, but you can get a really good match that's not gonna be completely perfect, but it'll definitely work, okay? You can also go from the other side, which might even be better with this particular uh, print. And this one is our Coral Onyx, I believe, okay? So now if I match from this side, we can get to where this is going to be a pretty good match. Maybe not completely perfect, but for a small table, this will match really good. But this is how I actually play with the design and figuring out how to match or repeat the pattern the best I can, okay? So I just keep playing with them. Sometimes I'll even decide that overlapping it might be better than trying to match it right up. So I might even like cut some of this off and come in and repeat it here instead. So there's many different ways that you can do this. The patterns that are more distinctive and busier, like the Coral Onyx, because we got some very distinctive veins, are gonna be a little bit harder to match up if you don't have both sides of the repeat, okay? <laughs> so meaning you have both sections of the 24 inch repeat. So I'm gonna put these back together and just show you guys a couple of other ones. This one, I believe, oh, okay, we're gonna be really working hard on my 
my names, okay? But this one here, again, it's soft. It doesn't have a ton of color, but enough on here to make sure that when you're getting to that repeat, and I'm just gonna cut some of this off, okay? But you are trying to line up the best you can with the sections of the marble, okay? So if we're working on a smaller, trying to get this to lay flat for me, let's see, we can have some cooperation here. We'll add a little tape. <laughs> if we're working on a smaller tabletop, okay, this right here is a pretty good match, okay? We can kind of blend that in at this point, okay? So just realize you're gonna have to play with them. You're gonna have to move them around. It might be that you keep flipping the sheet around until you find a section that just blends and matches up to, to continue to go, okay? So if you do have a large project and you're trying to get the best repeat mix, I'm gonna suggest that you buy the 24 inch roll because when you get into the 12 inch roll, then you are going to definitely be playing a, a bit with the repeat and trying to match everything up. Um, I do also suggest with all the marbles, make sure that you're doing a sample board first and determining the best color to go underneath these. These lighter colors are gonna look best over white, off-white, or very light shades of um, any of the colors that are found on the marble. But I'm finding that they do not look as great over black. The black tends to dull the colors and not allow them to transfer as vibrant as they are. So do me a favor, make a sample board. You might want to even test a couple of different colors. I know that this particular foil here, which I think is Memphis, okay, you can alter the shade of it slightly by either going over white, uh, off-white, a light gray. It will change the way it tr the color that it transfers a little bit. So play around, have fun with them. Don't get too caught up in being a perfect, absolute match. Just kind of go with the flow of the veins. Have fun with them, okay? So if you have any questions, feel, please feel free to reach out. And like I said, if you're going for a big, big tabletop or project, grab yourself the 24 inch roll. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial on seaming our marble foils. And make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos.